This is the digital jaywalker on Sunday, the 18th of April. We're looking west on University Avenue towards the KU campus, turning uh, on Emory Road towards 9th. Uh, we're on the crest, or near the crest, of the uh, ridge line between the Caw Valley and the Wakarusa watershed. Uh, we're looking for the location of Windmill Hill, where uh, Governor Roscoe and Mrs. Stubbs built the uh, governor's mansion, uh, or what became the governor's mansion in 1907. The uh, location was also the uh, previous site of a uh, windmill built by a Dutchman uh, who was killed during uh, one of Quantrill raids uh, on Lawrence uh, prior to the outbreak of the uh, U.S. Civil War. The mansion is uh, at 1501 Sigma New Place. They're having an open house today. You can see the uh, Greek Gothic pillars, the uh, carriage porch next to the flagpole where uh, a century ago Teddy Roosevelt was the invited guest of Governor and Mrs. Stubbs and William Allen White, a regent of the University of Kansas. This property was acquired by the uh, Sigma Nu fraternity in uh, 1922, 15 years after it was built. Uh, the main entry uh, is one of the uh, unique features of this uh, particular property since most of the homes or entertainment places in Lawrence were uh, showcases for the uh, movers and shakers. This is the uh, main fireplace uh, over which is a uh, quote uh, memorializing those people whose lives were lost during the uh, Quantrill raids including the uh, builder of the uh, windmill mentioned earlier. Oh, it's hard to read it says the world of strife shut out the world of love shut in. Um, we have a grand staircase that goes up to the uh, living quarters with some backlighting. Also a uh, main parlor, fireplace with piano. Uh, a room for uh, casual chatting with uh, various distinguished alumni featured including uh, FBI Director Clarence Kelly, uh, several of my near peers who lost their life during the Vietnam War, uh, astronaut Ron Evans. Now we also have a, a major entertainment room over here uh, in the front parlor. The uh, west wing of the uh, governor's mansion uh, includes uh, living spaces above the dining room to my left. Uh, the principal uh, functional entrance uh, to the house uh, between the north and south wings. The uh, south wing was constructed uh, with a fundraising drive that began about 1965 and was completed around 1968. Uh, this particular home has capacity for uh, 70 to 75 uh, emerging leaders. We've also got a uh, outdoor barbecue basketball court that overlooks the uh, the Caw Valley and uh, probably will catch some of the brothers uh, doing uh, tip-in or tip-up games uh, down here on the basketball court. Uh, we have a back entrance that uh, comes in near the uh, chapter room on the other side of the uh, and this is also wheelchair accessible uh, balcony looking north we can see the uh, downtown Lawrence business district just this side of the uh, silos along the river. See part of the uh, university facilities just across the draw here and uh, people that are inspecting the uh, this is the uh, overlook of the uh, large trees the uh, barbecue basketball court and uh, 
the uh, parking area to the south. We're now at the highest elevation known as the poop deck or widow's walk. If we were on in Nantucket or on the east coast looking across the Caw Valley to the ridge line moraines on the north side which is Leavenworth County uh, and then past the uh, chimney we can see the power plant to the north going upstream towards Topeka. If we pan across this way I believe the cell tower and the adjoining water tower at Hillcrest are adjacent to the Oregon Trail crossing uh, heading towards the Papin Ferry in Topeka. There's a similar less accessible poop deck on the uh, south wing mirroring uh, this one on the original structure. The Delta Gamma house is next door with a fairly large lawn space for I believe it's called Delta Jamma is a uh, philanthropy project that uh, will be coming up shortly. We can also see the J.R. Pearson School of Education building and the spire of uh, Fraser Hall.